Welcome to War Thunder Naval Enduring Confrontation. My favourite mode in the game so far. Even if you're not a huge fan of naval, there is something for pilots to do that offers a nice change of pace in tactics and strategies. It allows you to use aircraft that may not fit the normal meta or just fly different styles of combat missions. I always use this opportunity to spade niche vehicles or learn new tactics. Because of the increase to max BRs of 6.7, I was able to sneak a few early jets into my lineup, getting some practice in for when top tier BR inevitably increases to more modern warships and weapon systems. Today I've got the F-84B, which is 6.7 in arcade. Arcade in naval enduring confrontation is no different to realistic, except you get reloads. Here's a nice sea skimming attack taking out this Brooklyn with a 2,000 kilo bombs to his bridge. Very nice. Here's a sea skimming convoy raid, but unfortunately I got distracted by the tracers from this destroyer. I wanted to see how well I could dodge AA fire in first person. Answer, not very well. Uh, I didn't have much luck in the F-84. Despite it being an excellent aircraft, very fast, great loadout, it was a bit fragile, especially if you got hit in the wingtips, and the spawn points were very high. However, with the Kika I had a lot more fun and a lot more luck. The best way to bomb a big ship is to come bow in and drop it right on the turret. It's got a 500 kilo bomb, which is pretty decent. Fast aircraft tend to be pretty accurate with a dive bomb as well. So I tried to take out this destroyer escort here. Because you do not want to go near a Congo within two kilometers. Very close, but unfortunately no damage. Combat air patrol mission, taking out all the attackers that think they're the only people in the sky. a sea skimming raid in the Kika against this Brooklyn. Keep it below 10 meters or so and the AA shouldn't notice you until the last moment. That's if he's even got them on. I'm gonna try and skip it into the turret. So drop and pull up. Through the compartment, under the turret, good hits. It also presented some opportunities for one-on-one -on -one dogfights. This F4 here gave me a bit of a run for my money. Fighting over the ocean presents a different feel and also you acquire different spotting skills. And you'll see that in a moment as we head down into the ocean. I have superior energy during this attack so I was always going to be able to pull away. Most people will say this is an unfair engagement, but it is, in my view, very fair. He does have climb rate and also turn rate over me. And better weapons. I didn't fall for his little loop there. As you can see, the velocity on his 50s are very good and I have to be careful. Once the Corsair loses all his energy though, he's going to have to dive. And this is where I lose sight of him. Trying to watch for movement on the ocean, I can't see anything. I'm just got to wait until he makes a move and chooses the vector. There we go, and we're nice to pull up behind him. 
I pull back on the throttle so I don't overshoot too hard and I still get some nose authority. I have the better roll rate, so I just need to wait for him to get into the right position. Good kill. Good fight. Heavy bombers are still a threat to jets from behind, so you want to be quick as. Take out a wing pylon or two. And turn away. This guy's cheeky gunners took a tag on me. And classic Japanese heavy bomber. Burning for the next five minutes or so. Hopefully, Admiral Yamamoto is not on this one. And we have shoots away. There's lots of AI attackers to pick on as well. Good for gunnery practice with low velocity rounds. But if you're going to practice, try doing it from all different angles and vectors. And I left the best tool last. I'm going to try a carrier run on the forest doll. Using the land masses for cover. Trying to keep energy high. Trying to defeat the tracking rate of the AA guns. But a 5 inch shell to the face is going to ruin your day every time. Did you play in during confrontation? If so, tell me what you enjoyed the most. Until next time, Commander Tyrael, out.